Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Clone Stem tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial on the Clone Stem tool in Adobe Photoshop. My name is Rushi and in this video, we are exploring how to use the Clone Stem tool to remove unwanted elements from your images and enhance your photographs. So what exactly is the Clone Stem tool? Well, it's a versatile tool in Adobe Photoshop that allows you to copy pixel from one part of your image and clone them to another part of the same image or another images together. Now you can use this tool to remove blemishes, scratches and even entire object from your photos. So let's dive into this tool. So friends, first of all, you can locate the clone stem tool in the toolbar panel over here. Okay, by shortcut S, you can activate this tool. For example, right now you are in a move tool. And if you want to select a clone stem tool, then just press S from your keyboard. And as you can see, it will be automatically selected from your toolbar. Now, if you are long press on this toolbar, you can see there is a two tools, clone stem tool and pattern stem tool. So in this video, we are going to learn a clone stem tool. So just select this clone stem tool. So friends, first open the image you want to edit in Adobe Photoshop. You can drag and drop the footage from your local drive or go to file and select open to open any image you want to edit. Now friends, after selecting the clone stem tool, you need to adjust the setting for the clone stem tool. You can do this by going to clicking on the brush setting over here. Okay, from here you can adjust a brush size, hardness and opacity of the brush. It's important to choose the right brush size or the area you want to clone. A smaller brush will be a more precise while a larger brush will cover more area. Now let's say you want to remove a blemishes from this footage. So first of all you need to select a clone stem tool. And now as you can see, once you select a clone stem tool, your brush size is very small. So first of all, we are increase the size of this brush. So friends, let's say I want to remove these three dots from this image. So what I have to do is, so first of all, you need to choose a part of the skin that is similar in color or a texture to the area you want to remove. For example, this part is similar than this skin texture. Okay. To do this, hold down the Alt key like this on your keyboard and click on the area you want to clone. This will set the clone source. For example, I want this skin color over here. So what I'm doing, I'm just selecting this area. Okay, once I'm selecting this area, so as you can see, my brush have that source. So once you have set the clone source, move your mouse over the area you want to remove and start painting with the clone stamp tool like this. Okay, as you can see, that blemishes is going to remove. Okay, so every time you have to adjust your clone source. For example, now I want this, just selecting this part and now I'm again brush over here. So as you can see, that blemishes part is gone. Now friends, it's important to take a break regularly to zoom out and check your progress. This will help you to avoid over cloning and creating an unnatural looking image. Now, another useful application of clone stem tool is removing the unwanted object from your image. For example, in our second example, I want to remove this mobile from this image. So what I am doing, first of all, I am just zoom this part so that I know what object I want to remove and then I am selecting a clone stem tool. By using a shortcut S, you can activate this tool. So first of all, I am getting a source area. For example, I want this part on this mobile. So first of all, I'm selecting this area like this. Okay. And now I am slowly, slowly applying this part over here. See? Now you need to adjust the opacity as well as flow to know how much hardness you want. For example, if you make the flow to 100% and opacity to 100%, so once you're selecting this part, it apply like this because I apply a hard brush. See? So according to requirement, you need to change your brush opacity and flow. So like this, you can remove any unwanted part from your image using a clone stem tool. 
Now friends, it's important to note that clone stamp tool is not perfect and can sometimes leave behind noticeable seams or a patterns. To avoid this, you can use the healing brush tool or a spot healing brush tool to blend the cloning area with the surrounding pixel. You can see on the top of our two videos, healing brush tool and spot healing brush tool. So friends, that's all about a clone stamp tool in Adobe Photoshop. Like this, you can remove any unwanted part or blemishes from your images. So friends, in conclusion, the clone stamp tool is a powerful and a versatile tool in Adobe Photoshop that can help you remove unwanted elements from your photos and enhance your images. With a little practice, you can master this tool to take your photo editing skill to the next level. Thank you for watching and sure to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and tips on Adobe Photoshop. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.